right, we're back. Uh, we're, we're having a discussion about why do we have to buy a life insurance or uh, a lot of people are saying, yes, you need to buy a life insurance because when you die, you know, you have it for your family and also for you to be buried properly because people or your family will not be struggling borrowing money or the your family will not be struggling paying the, the, the bill that left behind because you forgot to have the insurance. Yes, I agree with that because I have a lot of friends, family and friends that they neglected their insurance and then suddenly, you know, they're gone. So now the family are struggling where to buy the, you know, you know, because Filipino, the tradition, they're still putting in a coffin, you know. So that's what we need the insurance for. Yeah. We really need to have an insurance, not just for to protect your family, to protect yourself because you're not getting younger, you're also getting older. And you know what, um, buying an insurance is not necessarily you're gonna die. This is just to protect your financial future. Uh, this is to actually cover your uh, income that you provided for your family okay. month after month. Well, let's go back to our discussion. Uh, let's talk about the real estate. The real estate now is getting booming for the seller and buyers. Why? Because we have so many big company coming to our town, especially the Raiders, hockey, you know, and there's more games are coming into town. So what do you think about that? No, Vegas is changing. I've been here 37 years and finally wow. all the professional teams, uh, we, now we have a complete package. Uh, before this, there, none of the professional teams could come to Vegas because of gaming. There were laws that they cannot, uh, NFL, NBA, nobody wanted to come to Vegas. But in the last few years, the laws are changing and they're adjusting. And once they come, this was the only thing that was lacking in Vegas. We have complete entertainment. We have the top magicians, musicians, uh, entertainment, food, chefs, you name it. Now, once we have the professional teams, finally we have, see before I've been here, 30, as I said, 37, 37 uh, years. UNLV wow. Rebels were number one and they mm -hmm. were every, they had the most support, uh, you know, everybody supported them. Now we'll have more. We'll have uh, ice hockey, we will have NBA maybe, and then NFL, you name it. And that's what is going to get the community involved also. And we need something like this, and I think that's why we have all the positive impact all over real estate, all mm -hmm. the business, you can imagine. And then we have new thing, Amazon coming up. It's already there almost, and if you have some more So uh, we have Amazon also coming to town? Yeah, Amazon, there's almost 80% uh, done. Wow. Where Apex, are you located uh, at? North 15, uh, by are, Apex. are they doing oh, a brick wow. and mortar business? Yeah. No, not they. They are setting up. Or just up a, a whole center kind of thing. No, no, the whole package they're gonna have. So it's a brick and mortar. Brick and then mortar it's a, plus it's a, yes. call center plus delivery plus too many. Yeah, so well, what happened is uh, the mayor. Okay, I got to talk to him, John Lee. Mm -hmm. You know, I talked to him over the phone. What he's doing is he's inviting uh, investors, yes. business to come to North Las Vegas. That's why North Las Vegas is kind of booming also, either it's far away from the city of Las Vegas. They are actually separate. They have their own city, yes. North Las Vegas mm -hmm. City, Las Vegas City, and Henderson. There are three, you know, entities are separate. So generally travel in China, and I think searching more investors to come to build North Las Vegas. So that's what is happening now. So that's why a lot of people also oh, yeah, are Our economy property, is uh, yeah. booming so far. See, North Las Vegas, one of the reasons is there's nothing left in Vegas. So North Las Vegas has too much space, empty Correct. space, so they can, can develop. Yeah, exactly. They have places to put things up mm -hmm. and put industries. And Faraday was coming, I don't know what's happening with them, uh, the electric car. And I mean, North Las the Vegas has The electric car is coming also. No, it was, but I don't know. They closed the office. I don't know the current situation on it. But if they do, that's another thing for Vegas. So Nevada as a whole, mm. uh, because in the North Las Vegas, I mean in Reno also, they're putting up mm. some industry. And if we have some in Vegas also, that will diversify and make it more, you know, like uh, not just casino, not just entertainment, mm. but now if you have manufacturing and delivery Amazing. network, 
Uh, we are a great location. Well, uh, tell us also, it's here, they've been here for such a long time. Tell us it's a call center, they're actually corner of the Cairo and uh, Sahara. Mm -hmm. tell what us. is that? Tell us it's a call center. Mm -hmm. They have the credit card company, AT&T, oh, okay. T-Mobile, everything call center. Not just in the Philippines, as a call center in India or yeah. Pakistan. You, you get to remember, yeah. <laughs> and then they moved to the Philippines, actually. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Filipinos, some of them, they don't have accent. And mm -hmm. India, they have that accent. Yes. So they remove it. I don't know why, you know. Because some people, you know, they think, well, Filipino can speak fluent English and there's no accent. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about Filipino, we're going to be um, talking yes, about that's Lingo why. ng yeah. Wika. Yes. Yeah, Lingo ng Wika in the Philippines. Um, just to give you some uh, you some uh, brief um, introduction about that is Lingo ng Wika is when we when we recognize Proclamation, proclamation. 1041 to have a one week or a month of language. So that means Lingo ng Wika is a week of a language of Filipino. So they must, like me, if I speak pure Tagalog, it has to be Tagalog, Pambansang Wika. Yeah, that's our national language. Yeah, so we, we speak the language for the whole month because we are celebrating uh, the national mm -hmm. language. Let's talk about that in the first segment. Let's talk about the business here first. So mm -hmm. in, in Nevada, Okay, Nevada because Nevada is not that big. Mm -hmm. We're so crowded now, and it's still a lot of people is still complaining that there's not enough job for other family. The unemployment rate for Las Vegas, Nevada, right now is about four percent. That's as low yeah. as it's going to get. Yes. Yeah. Down. So. Uh, unemployment that's why economy is boosting you know like yeah. if you go in real correct, estate correct. all the prices are going up because the investors are back international not just uh, from Canada from China from Russia from all over the world people are buying again and that's why you know now to get a starter home is kind of late now because the prices are going back up so you know like it's much as the sellers market apartments you know investment properties they're all gone up uh, it's very hard to make money now, Correct. but still, you know, like slowly it will stabilize, and it's better to have good economy than bad anytime. Yes, so we'll see. yeah, definitely. We'll see. All right, that's because business here. Yeah, a lot of restaurants are dying in the past. Now they're back. They're gonna be back in normal. They're gonna be feeding a lot of people now, and um, hopefully the restaurant will be posting. Like like my guest today also, I believe she uh, he has some uh, you know food fusion somewhere up there. But anyway, uh, he is a broker of real estate and also he's a broker of insurance. So casualty and uh, property. property, casualty and property. So if you're looking to have your insurance, go look for Damon Singh and David company's name is? Insurance for all. Insurance for all. And uh, let's talk about later on the, the view of Las Vegas and why the single mom and why friends cannot get along, why friends has to fight, why why we don't understand each other, why there's some something. jealousy and why there's some not jealousy or why the other person doesn't want to be successful, why the other person wants to fight the other person. So let's talk yeah. about that on the fourth mm -hmm. segment. Yeah, well, I'm, I want to uh, plug in my show, upcoming show, and my upcoming show is Empowering with Maria and Joe. This is all about empowerment. Empowerment is something that motivating, supporting, and promoting others instead of putting them down because you know what whatever happens in this world uh, don't ever um you know, don't ever burn your bridge to other people. No matter what had been said or what had said, it should just be kept inside us. That's part of empowering. All right, that's Maria and Joe coming soon of WCB and World Central Broadcast Media. And don't forget, we have a World Central Broadcast Media in Hollywood and Vine. If you want to have your own show, stop by and uh, look for Julia Zhang. Or in here in the studio. I'll call you. Yes, and call me. Yes, call Ariel. But anyway, I'm still hoping to get some channel in every state. So it's still on the on my plate. Uh, I'm still waiting for all it's my in the people. Plan, yeah. Yeah. Yes, but I'm hoping that uh, our insurance should go down. Come on, it's not fair. You know why we're paying too much, uh, too high premiums? Why? Why? It's all because of I told you earlier. Too many claims and too many. Stop people. making claims. Yeah. yeah. Do, do if you. If Why you we need get blamed for it? It's Come supposed on. to be, but don't look for an easy money. Don't look for a handout, and that's what's happening. 
people are looking for opportunity if they get in a car you accident. Know what, you know what, it's what goes around comes around. Yeah, so yeah, just, just so go on the right way, do the right thing. Well, we'll be right back in the fourth segment.